Today, Aaron interviews the superman of YouTube, iPod King Carter, a YouTuber that focuses on EA sports titles like NHL, NFL, NBA, and WWE games. Double cross between the legs, and oh my god, I just created a monster out here. This episode is brought to you by BenQ, bringing enjoyment and quality to life. Yo guys, what's going on? My name's Aaron. In today's episode of Impulse, we're going to dive into Mr. Successful himself, iPod King Carter. He uploads EA Sports videos, mostly NBA right now. They are absolutely awesome. His biggest video, which I actually checked out uh, recently, is the uh, NBA Slam Dunk Contest. So you got to check that out. I'm actually going to be putting it behind as gameplay during the interview. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. But he's going to share with us some secrets, some tips on how he actually grew and became so huge and famous in the EA gaming community. All right, Mr. iPod King Carter. It is time to dissect your mind. When did you realize that you actually started succeeding on YouTube? Mid-2013. Um, this was probably around June, July. Now, this is like somewhat called info season. Like, you know how when a new Call of Duty is coming out, guys drop as much news as they can about the game on their channel. I was doing that in favor of NBA 2K. And a lot of people like my opinion. They heard that I had some valid facts um, and I was very verbal about everything. Like I didn't hold anything back because of, you know, the company inviting me out to events or anything like that. Like I kept it as truthful as I could and just letting the fans know, like, you know, I'm one of you guys. Like I'm not somebody that the company brainwashed and said, you know, we'll put on a suit and tie and go tell the world anything we tell you to tell them. So a lot of people, they just loved my opinion and, you know, they just stuck with me. And, you know, I call them Team IKC because it's like we're a team in this you know without them i would be nothing what do you enjoy most about being a youtuber it would definitely have to be going to conventions as a media personality as well as working with companies on games products and just having that time to yourself to sit back and reflect on great gameplay you know when i when i first started in youtube I was one of those guys that said, well, I only watch, you know, twerking videos and rap battles. So my whole mentality with gaming was so different because as a gamer, it was playing with my friends online all the time. And when I became a YouTuber, it was play games online with your friends, but make sure that your gameplay is appropriate for an epic video. So, you know, for in the stance of Call of Duty guys, they have to get these 80 kill monsters games, one death, right? Whereas though with 2K, all you got to do is dump on a few people. That's it. So, you know, the epicness would happen all the time. So it was good to sit back and learn how to edit videos, learn how to commentate, learn how to use different vocabulary instead of, you know, just the curse words that everybody uses when raging. You know, so it's it's definitely made me a better person because the best thing about YouTube is it's it has helped me grow. It's as simple as that. You know, YouTube was that platform that gave me, you know, something to look forward to. What would you say to the Freedom Family that is actually the most beneficial ingredient or factor to help grow on YouTube? I would have to say drive and patience. And the reason for that is they have to have the drive to actually want to make YouTube videos. A lot of people do not have the drive for it. The, and what considers the drive is, you just said it, 14 hours of just going through the motions of trying to figure out a game. For 14 hours straight, this is just you finding out the game, not recording gameplay, but just figuring out the game. So to do that, to be a YouTuber, to have information, to have entertainment, you have to put in the work. Um, what, what console logs hours? Xbox. Xbox logs all hours on Raptor, right? And, and I remember I had logged maybe about 22 days on NBA 2K playing all different, I mean, all different kinds of modes, learning five on five gameplay, one V one gameplay, two V two, three V three, five. Like it's just insane using one player, using all five players, different modes, how to be a general manager, how to run a league. Like at this point, I'm like, I can go to the NBA today and get a job. Like I should be an analyst, you know, that and that drive, it helps you 
learn patience because with patience comes reward and a lot of people say well i want to i want to be successful in about i give myself a three-month plan you know if i don't have a thousand subscribers within three months i'm not doing something right well that's what the patience is for you shouldn't set a timetable on your success you should keep building with other people to build your success you can only build success one way and that's to meet other people affiliate with other people communicate with other people and those comments those tweets those facebook posts those instagram posts yeah that's right guys get all social networks you have to respond because if you don't respond those people won't feel like they have a personal connection to you now of course it, it's amazing to be getting paid for youtube but when i it's a it's a and that's what it is it's just a per it's like painkiller you know you 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 drive yourself to the brink of death every day 20 maybe 20 hours out of the day you're doing something via youtube and you know you get that check and you're like oh i gotta keep going but you know we started out on youtube as it being a hobby and something fun and you can never lose sight of that never okay yeah you get your check it gets deposited on paypal yeah you have a debit card but bro do it for the fun do it for the communication do it for the fans do it for that see me i'm an interaction junkie i like when i look at my phone on twitter and i see i have 20 the 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 number 20 symbol on my twitter and i go in i got all these favorites and tweets and i just start responding i just go on a crazy twitter rant you know and just responding to people because that's what i was here for you know that's that's why i started youtube and i'll always be that way no matter how big i get Okay, we all know that mobile views are actually the majority of viewership. So how do you maximize exposure on cell phones? No matter how bad you know you want views on a computer without ad blocker, people love their phones. People love their iPads. People love their tablets. And guess what? There's an app for that. You know, if you if you want to know about my YouTube videos, hey, download my app. I promise you, once my video goes live you'll get a notification and guess what if you have free time go ahead click it because it's going to take you within my app to the youtube video and you can watch it right there no problem you don't have to go anywhere else it's a one-stop shop if you want to buy some of my t-shirts they're there if you want to know what social networks i'm on they're there if you want to know what live streaming sites i'm on they're there you know Everything about me is in the app, you know, and even our community channel is in the app. It's just, you know, so it's a one stop shop, you know, um, if I if I'm going to let's say, for instance, Pack South, going to Pack South. Guess what? You guys know I'm going to be at Pack South. And guess what? I'm going to be giving up daily updates of my location. So if anybody's out there, guess what? You know where I am at every hour on the hour you know for meetups so it's, it's it's a great thing and you know it's not hard to promote on your youtube channel at all you know hey download my app so freedom's all about helping the little guy do you organize any type of events on your channel to help the youtube community we host a, a tournament every year called sports commentator march madness we try to get all these sports guys that are up and coming in it you know try to put them on a channel where you know they can thrive you know we've seen one guy you know he went from 30 subs to 3,000 within a month you know just being just being on the on the uh the tournament you know and i think he i think he even got put out just in the second round like second or third round he got put out but he grew because people like this personality thanks a lot for coming out ipod king carter i'm sure a lot of us in the freedom family have learned a lot from your successful tips especially you got to get an app in order to grow and gain exposure with mobile views and to always look out for your tournaments if you're an EA YouTuber to help grow and gain exposure here on YouTube. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you put in the comments below who you want to see on next week's episode of Impulse. My name is Aaron, founder of Impulse. And never give up on your dreams of becoming a successful YouTuber because one day you too could be like these guys. See ya! <music> Katy Perry, really? Dude, I got to hear you sing it. Do it, man. Sing it for us. Don't <laughs> Oh, my God.